Alright guys, welcome back to another M Creator tutorial. Before you get started though, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe uh, for future videos and to stay notified when I release a new video. Now let's get into the tutorial. So today we're going to be covering just something really quick um, for a request that happened. Oh, I think the issue on my GitHub repository was like 18. So we're going to be basically trying to catch up with some of the older stuff as well as some of the easier stuff as well. So there is how to test when an entity is killed, what kind of entity actually killed it and to apply an effect to it. So this can be done through global procedures. So we can go ahead and create a new global procedure and we're just gonna call it um, test for the moment. You can call it whatever you want. And then we're going to go ahead and set the global trigger up at the top here, this little green icon, to when entity dies. So this one's pretty much been around from the beginning, so you can basically use this one for all your procedures. And then we can go ahead and get an if statement because we're going to need to test for something. We're going to need an AND statement, so we're going to grab the cyan block that will fit on that, and then we're going to set the equal sign to AND. We're going to just drop it down like that so we can keep it in line. And then what we need to do is go to, I think it's logic, yeah, logic, and then we're going to go down to where it says subtype, and we're going to test uh, for a certain thing. Now, this is going to be the entity that you're going to be testing for that ends up dying. So if we want to kill something, then we would want to go ahead and set, say, a zombie. So we'll go zom. And we'll just make it a little bit easier for us to test. So the other thing that we want to do is make sure that if the player kills a zombie, so we want to test for source entity. So we're going to go to Minecraft components and grab source entity. And there we go, that part's all done. Uh, now for the effect, all we need to do is go ahead and go to um, the actions for pr procedures for entities. And then we can go ahead and grab a simple potion effect. So we're going to just uh, select something like uh, We'll give the player probably strength. So we want to make sure that it's the source player, uh, source entity for this one. And we'll give them strength for level one which, or level zero, which is basically level one for the, the uh, potion effect. And then we're gonna give them to for maybe like 300 seconds or something like that, or 300 ticks. And we can have all these other things uh, enabled if we wanted to, particles and all that other stuff too, if we wanted to. And that's pretty much all you need to do. Uh, the entity to dies, uh, this is going to be the event slash target entity. Uh, again, you have to kind of read the uh, things um, carefully because some of these things, um, when it has support source entity, it will be reflective of what basically on what side the entity is happening. So in this case, entity dies, we're going to be killing a zombie. So this would be the entity dying. So that would be your event slash target entity. Source entity would be the person that or entity that's killing it. And I just noticed that this is needs to be player. So we're going to just set player for this one. And then this would be like the player that basically kills the zombie. So and then we're just making sure that the source entity is applied to the uh, player itself. So let's go ahead and test this at, uh, test this out and then we'll uh, quickly wrap things up. It's just like that, right? All right, so we'll place that down and... And immediately you can see we got some strength from that. So we can do that again after that runs out. So it's like 15 seconds or whatever. So kind of see the potion effects too. Okay, and just to confirm that it works. And we got the status effect up top again, another 15 seconds. So that's basically it. That's all you need to know for the how to kill an entity and test for it and run basically a event uh, based on if the entity was killed. So hopefully that helps you with your tutorials and stuff like that. I know it's a small little request, but um, it can be handy, especially 
uh, explaining the source entity. Now, when it comes down to the source entity thing again, uh, this will vary depending on the trigger and the thing, but uh, you can also test. I should probably just explain this really quickly because I'm going to probably get bombarded with questions how to test for it. So uh, if you, you're not sure what one of the source entity is and what entity it is, when you're going to test for it, you can always just print out to the console and you can create text with, and then you can go ahead and basically just place this directly on here and then you want to test for the other one as well so basically what this will do is when you kill an entity you'll click on the console and it will come up in here somewhere uh, we can run this as a really quick test and I'll show you how that basically All right. so what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually go to console I'm going to clear it with the red X just so we can find it a little bit easier in the script. So we're going to have to kill another uh, zombie for sure. So we'll go ahead and just um, go into creative and grab a, another spawn egg. And I can show you basically what it means. So we'll go ahead and go back to creative. And a modifier. All right, so now we can go to console and it should say uh, right up here. So the coordinates as well as the uh, server player. So we know that it's going to be a server player and that their other one is a zombie. So it should come out looking like this at the top here. So when you kill something, it will end up uh, when you're actually testing for it, make sure it's outside. So you can figure out what one is. So in this case, it's going to be the server player or player, whatever one you want to select. And then the zombie printed out after that. So this is basically how it printed out. So server player and then the zombie. So you'll know based on what order these are in. So hopefully that helps with today's video. If you're new to my channel, uh, <laughs> if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the video, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.